Hello, it's Bob from outside Boston, Massachusetts. It's Sunday, June 14th, 2015. It's the 54th week on the diet. This is, I do this video in two parts. The first I do a reading, chart reading, and the second I talk about events last week. Here, okay, so here's my reading. <clears throat> There is never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during normal business hours, Monday to Friday. After hours appointments are available as needed. All service link staff conversations are confidential. Okay, that's the end of my reading. Now, the events of this week. Uh, well, th this wasn't a very good week either. Um, it's a little tougher to speak. My legs are a little weaker. My hands a little shakier. So this is a bad week again. Uh, I think it's partially the UTI is still going on. And partially the heat, even though I do have air conditioning, it isn't. It's not the, quite the same. It's better in the spring and fall and winter. I hate the summer. So it's been uh, pretty bad this week so far. I just, although having said that, I just finished my walking. I was able to do four laps. So I, which is about, each lap is about 50 feet. So I'm not, I'm still not quite at pre-UTI level, but I am getting better from, because I remember first I could barely do 25 feet after, right after the UTI. Now I'm up to four laps of about 200 feet. So there is some improvement, but I remember what it was like when I went to 250 in the hallway. And uh, that was a breakthrough, it really was. My legs are still weaker since then, but I am getting better. The big thing was I went to the doctor yesterday to talk with him about these UTIs and what can I do to stop them. And he's of the opinion that giving me prophylactic antibiotics given that I have the super pubic catheter, would only select out uh, resistant strains. In other words, it would kill anything that didn't have resistance, but those that remain would be resistant, and I'd be in big trouble then. So he wasn't, he didn't want to give me prophylactic antibiotics. But he is going to look into other things that he's, he said he'd get back to me. Uh, and either that or I can follow up with the urologist. To, he did mention something. It's an antiseptic, not an antibiotic, but an antiseptic. And I, he said maybe that he's going to research it and see if I should take that. But I gave him the whole story about how each one of the GTIs is killing my progress on the side. And uh, so he, know, he knows what's at stake. I, I hope maybe he'll come up with something else I can try. But uh, I guess, I don't know, my, from what I took out of it was, if I didn't have the stupid catheter, I'd be in a better position, but because of that, it's sort of like a highway for bacteria. Anyway, that's the, uh, I guess that's the bottom line. And uh, I am getting a better, although this week it was worse. Uh, it's hard to explain exactly why that is, but uh, all I can think of is keep going. Hopefully this summer, I'm waiting for the summer to be over and get this damn heat out of the way because even the air conditioning doesn't uh, really, you know, it's I'm worse in the summer. 
and I guess that's it then. Um, I'll be back next Sunday to talk about what happened. Today is the last day of the 64th week on the diet. Tomorrow will be the first day of the 55th week. And I guess that's it. Goodbye.